and buddies, it's your girl I, Christine, and today we are checking out an Emery True video. This is the worst thing that happened on tour. Um, I know that she recently went on the um, <sighs> Scribbles, Scribble Showdown tour, because um, Dom couldn't because of, you know, I think because of COVID laws and stuff like that, Dom wasn't able to come. So Emery had to do like the American stretch of the tour. Uh, so we're going to see what's in store. Link is in the description box below for you to check out. Now let's get started. Hi, I'm back from Scribble Showdown. This video is going to look rough, sort of like okay. my tour announcement video, because I just want to tell a quick story while it's still fresh in my head. Nothing fancy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Forgive me. I'm sure you'd all love to hear about every little detail, but nothing super interesting happened aside from the usual tour stuff. Mm -hmm. We checked out a cool art exhibit called Meow Wolf in New Mexico. Cool. We saw the giant bean in Chicago. Oh, we did a I wanted to see that. For Thank Miss, where Aaron said he kissed James on the lips if we raised 40000 and he did. Oh, like wow. Said, nothing super okay. interesting. And All right. I could go on and on about how grateful I am for this experience and how much I'd love spending really time cool. with everyone and meeting new people and how much I appreciate everyone who welcomed me onto this tour. Uh, this isn't the time to be wholesome. Okay. I'm here to tell you a very unwholesome story about oh. the worst thing that happened to me on this tour. Oh. The worst thing aside from throwing up on the bus after a show in Nashville, that is. Oh my gosh. So there was a running joke during the tour about how mm -hmm. no matter how cold it got where we traveled, I refused mm -hmm. to wear pants. I only wore skirts and shorts and if it just so happened to be too cold mm -hmm. i just wore tights underneath varying in thickness based on how cold it was okay okay <laughs> i did bring a single pair of pants which i wore for approximately two hours before ripping them off in favor of a skirt so i became known amongst uh, she does not like the, the pants okay never wore pants <laughs> it's the morning of our chicago show i checked oh, the weather hold on, hold on hold on hold on i want to see what that said Picked up card tricks during the tour. Okay. Can't fall asleep on the bus. Halo. <laughs> That's all he's thinking about. Got the drip. Okay, Jaden. Doesn't wear pants. All right. Plays MTG with Aaron. Magic. <laughs> Magic the Gathering. Ah, okay. I got you. Who never wore pants. It's the morning of our Chicago show. I checked mm. the weather and discovered that it's going to be a chilly 30 degrees outside. I decide I'm oh, going to wow. wear a casual winter outfit I packed, which consists of a shirt, a hoodie, mm -hmm. a puffy jacket, tights, over-the-knee socks, and, of course, shorts. Okay. So I put on my shirt and my hoodie, my mm -hmm. tights, my socks, and my puffy jacket, misplace my phone for a little bit, find mm -hmm. it, and get all okay. packed up and ready to head to the venue. All right. I met Jaden and Ross in the hotel lobby, called an Uber, and as soon as we stepped outside, I said to Jaden, wow, it feels a lot nicer today than it did yesterday. We get into the Uber, get dropped mm -hmm. off near the venue, cross the street, and I lead the two over to the back of the building, where okay. we drag our heavy luggage cases up a flight of stairs with them mm -hmm. right behind me. Finally, we flop onto the couches of the green room, and I decide this is the perfect time to reward myself with some coffee from the nearby Starbucks. All so right. I get up, head for the exit, and I run into our tour manager, Matt. He mm -hmm. goes, did you finally wear pants today? And I point to my legs and go, nope, I'm wearing shorts. And I look down, and my shorts are not there. <gasps> <laughs> How long have I been walking around without bottoms? It's 1 p.m. Did I seriously forget to put on my shorts? Oh my <gasps> goodness. No. I awkwardly walk back into the green. Oh room, my goodness. Of bullets, grab my shorts, make a run for the bathroom, run to the mirror. Maybe this is okay. The tights could easily be mistaken for thin leggings. Maybe it's opaque enough so it's not obvious from the back. Oh my goodness. I turn goodness. around. Uh huh. No! It's so obvious! You oh, can see everything! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! So, guess who was double cheeked up on a Wednesday afternoon on a cold Chicago day and oh nobody my told me? Goodness. I retraced my steps from that morning and rapidly sank into deeper despair. The way I checked out of the hotel. Oh dear. The way I climbed into the Uber right in oh, front of Jaden and Ross. The dear. way I walked in front of them the entire time we crossed oh. the street and went behind the venue. The way I was the first one up oh, the stairs with my luggage dear. with everyone oh, right under the dear. <laughs> Oh dear. If this video gets demonetized, I only have myself to blame. Emily. There's no way they don't know, right? Are oh, they staying man. quiet because they didn't want to I make pretend I do not see it. That makes it even more embarrassing. Oh, yeah. As it turns out, Jaden didn't notice anything until she saw my tweet about it and asked me what happened. And once I explained, she laughed and said, you know, subconsciously.
subconsciously, I had a feeling something was missing when I saw you this morning, but uh-huh. I couldn't put my finger on it. <laughs> That's hilarious. You know what? That is understandable. That's because hilarious. why would you expect anyone to be dumb enough to forget their bottoms in Chicago in December? <laughs> you know how sometimes when you wear a skirt with tights, you uh-huh. leave the bathroom and then accidentally tuck part of your skirt into them in your, so one yep. of your butt cheeks is exposed for a bit? Uh-huh. I've done that a few times, but never okay. in my life have I ever just straight up forgotten to put on a <laughs> crucial piece of my wardrobe. You know, your until shorts. now. Right. Hot tour. In the city, in right. front of people who I respect and admire. Oh, dear. I decided to draw my feelings during sound check to cope with the embarrassment. Oh, man. Even though our tour manager, Matt, technically didn't notice anything amiss when he saw me, mm-hmm. if he hadn't mistaken my tights for pants, she was I would have probably to never looked down. And you know what? I would right. have gotten my coffee and probably spent the whole day letting everyone know what color underwear I was wearing that day. Right. So thanks, Matt. So, uh, moral of the story, right. uh, always take a moment to check yourself out in the, in the mirror, mirror before yes. you leave, yes. even if you're in a hurry. Yes. And I know my parents are 100% watching this absolutely mortified, but listen, <laughs> mom and dad, I gotta learn to laugh at my mishap sometimes. <laughs> Coincidentally, a few weeks ago, my mom told me to be careful because she had a nightmare where I humiliated myself in front of a group of people. Oh, so, my. here you go, mom. The prophecy oh my has goodness. been fulfilled. Oh, my goodness. I embarrassed my goodness. myself big time. Sorry, I couldn't avoid fate. Or whatever. Right. So yeah, that's the worst thing that ever happened to me on the Scribble Showdown tour. Other than that, I had wow. a great time. In the spirit of monetizing my suffering, I'd like mm-hmm. to mention that this video is sponsored by Gamersups. That's good. Um Wow. Wow. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. I'm I'm glad that she's okay though now, you know, because some people it's it could be embarrassment can be absolutely mortifying i i have to say for me i i kind of expect it you know it for me like embarrassment for me because i just feel like that's where i live i just live in in the realm of embarrassing things happening to me whether it's something i said being um taken as a as a wow statement when it's just legitimately sincere um I've ripped my pants. I trip every day. Not a normal generalization. I literally trip every day. Um, And I, you know, I just, I just live in the realm of things are going to happen. So I I do laugh at myself a lot. And I, I, I don't think I'm, I'm not one of those people that on a regular basis, you know, just shuts down because of embarrassment because it kind of happens all the time. So it's funny to see somebody else. And I'm, I'm happy that she is okay, you know, that she's not, this is not a scarring. Uh, well, okay, it's not a horribly scarring because there's a little bit of scarring for this because it was a major city. You were in Chicago. You were walking in front of them. Even if they tell me that they didn't, I, like for months, I'm not going to believe them until that like dissipates from my mind. If even, you know, if it even does dissipate. But man, man oh man oh man that is hilarious i am so sorry (laughs) i'm so sorry emily that this happened to you um it was hilarious i am happy that you're able to share it and 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 tell everybody what happened um but again i'm sorry (laughs) i'm so sorry but I was just like, okay, what is the worst thing that happened? Because she said she threw up and then she breezed over that. So I'm like, okay, maybe not that. But I'm like sitting there like, what is the worst thing? And when she said that, I was like, oh my goodness. And it's like, I feel like this happened to me. I feel like it did. But I don't have any memory of this. So maybe that's for the, the best, you know? Maybe that's for the best. Maybe God locked that away. But I like, it's like hearing this story, I feel like something like this happened to me where I forgot to put on pants or shorts or something like that and was out in public. I, I feel like this happened to me. I just I just cannot remember the memory. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What is the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you that you can laugh about now? Let's 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 keep it light. What is something embarrassing that's happened to you that you can laugh about now? Um, let me know down below in the comment section if you liked the video. Check out the link in the description box below. Go over there and show Emily some love <laughs> and support. If you like this video, hug the like and I like button. I love you guys as always. And until next time, buddies. Toodles.